Welcome. This video shows a live demo of some functionalities of 3D CTDB web client developed by our team. 3D CTDB is an open source 3D database for the storage and maintenance of CTGML and allows to export CTGML data in the form of KML Colada formats for visualization purposes. So the 3D CTDB web client is a web based tool for visualization and analysis of semantic 3D CT models. It has been developed using Cesium Virtual Globe and the initial effort here in this tool is to visualize larger datasets using KML network links. So this is the initial interface of the web client where we can see the Cesium Globe. And to work on the dataset of New York, we zoom in to the New York area. Now using the panel at left, we provide the URL of our KML file for the buildings and URL for Google spreadsheet to load the attributes of the building. And once we click OK, we, uh, the entire dataset is loaded. And now we can zoom further to visualize the 3D buildings. As we notice here, the dataset contains large number of tiles in the form of network link. There are in total 225 tiles within the dataset. And in the web client, the tiling strategy has been implemented to ensure that only tiles in the vicinity of the observer are being loaded. As we can see, the tiles are loaded dynamically as we move the mouse. We have also implemented the highlighting of the buildings on mouse over. As we hover the mouse on the building, the buildings get highlighted. Also on the mouse click. On mouse click, the attributes of the building can be seen on the right hand side. And these attributes are retrieved from the original CityGML datasets. We have also implemented multiple selection of the buildings using control left click and we can select multiple buildings and use them for further analysis. This web client also has a feature of querying the attributes so that the results can be visualized on the globe. For example here we can create a query to visualize all the buildings on a particular street. And further the aggregation queries can be performed on top of that. For example, to find the building with minimum height. We can also perform further queries such as to find all the buildings, say, uh, with, with the height less than 5 meters. So using the query attributes we can visualize all the buildings with height less than 5 meters. And here we have also implemented caching of the building which results in highlighting even when the tiles are loaded later. Thank you.